Shakela, a massive house burns to the ground, happened in Henderson, leaving a group of people without a place to call home. The blaze started last night near Las Vegas Boulevard and St. Rose Parkway. 8 News Now reporter Sasha Loft has spent the day speaking with neighbors as well as first responders. And Sasha, they say this fire was particularly hard to fight. Yes, Brian. Uh, firefighters say the biggest struggle here, not enough water. Now, this home is in a rural area with really no fire hydrants in sight, so they had to truck it all in. Neighbors we spoke with say they've never thought about that as an issue, but seeing this destruction really changes that. Probably 20, 30 foot flames and fire trucks keep coming and going. Flickering flames pierced the night sky. It was on fire. I mean, it was it was pretty going pretty good. They made their mark here in Henderson, leaving this massive home unrecognizable. I've never seen an actual house on fire, let alone a few hundred yards from my house. Jeff Howerbush yeah. lives down the street and saw the devastation unfold. They said, yeah, there's no hydrants out here, so we can't get water. He says fire crews had to battle this blaze without a nearby water source. We can't put out uh, structural fires without a good water supply. Clark County Deputy Fire Chief John Steinbeck calls this a common issue in any rural area. Uh, we've seen this over the years where there's homes that we could save with proper water supply that we then cannot save because it's just too far away. Firefighters rely on water from fire hydrants, so if a street doesn't have them, crews have to shuttle it in. Giving a fire like this more time to burn. Kind of made me think about what happens if something like that happens to your house. Now as Howard Bush looks at these charred remains, he says he'll turn his concerns to action. That does make you rethink things, I guess. So nothing like this ever happens to him. Now back out here live, firefighters say the cause of this fire here was electrical. You can see again, just completely destroyed. Now we do, uh, we do have some tips for you. Uh, if you do live in a rural area like this, fire officials say you can take a few precautions to protect your home. We'll have more on that coming up at six o'clock. But for now, reporting live, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.